So uh, really, you don't have to worry about any of this other stuff. Uh, just know that this dialog here is what you use to select different virtual floppies to look at. And we're not just looking at them. When that window's open, you can drag and drop files to them. And then over here is uh, floppy. Uh, this You won't use this again if you've already formatted your floppy key. All right. Don't worry about DOS bootable disk. That's only if you were going to use the, uh, the emulator inside a, a PC to act as a floppy boot disk. And we're not going to use that here. So realistically, from the point of view of if you're a musician and you're using uh, the emulator just to simply replace the existing floppy drive, this is the tab that you're really interested in. And uh, so far, so good, right? Okay, great. Now let's get that off to the side because I'm going to mix things up now by introducing something very interesting. Here we are. We spent all this time worrying about taking uh, a uh, USB device and putting it in place of a floppy. Well, here I am. I'm going to approach this from the different angle. This is a floppy drive that happens to be equipped with a USB port. Eh? What's the... <laughs> yeah, we're doing this backwards now, and we're doing it backwards for a reason. Let me just find a, uh, a USB port on the back of this computer. This is my old XP laptop, and it still comes in handy for musical stuff as well as other things. I'm just gonna. There we go. It's in there. All right. Okay. 